Hello, I'm the Child Enthusiast. I help you remember your childhood so you don't forget it. Well, today, folks, I'm just going to go back to the early 2000s. I was about, like, eight or nine years old when I saw this movie. Do you remember... Chicken Run? Boom! That's what I'm going to talk about today. Now, Chicken Run is in terms about chickens trying to escape from an evil farm. Now... This is kind of a little bit of like a, a little bit of a concentration camp, you could say. But I'm not trying to get into that kind of extreme. But anyway, so we meet a character named Ginger, who is the lead chicken, who's brilliant, smart, and an all-around good person. So we actually see how she tries to escape with the rest of the chickens, but that attempt doesn't go too well because that's when the man of the farm comes in and knows that she's trying to escape. And then we get into the title cuts about saying, oh look, chicken run! It's like, hmm. How will this happen? And so, then we would, we would see a complete montage of her planning, then having to attempt the plan, Feeling, getting into a, uh, a solitary confinement, and then it keeps going on for like, I don't know. But we somehow see in the beginning that she had made the attempt before, maybe like 25 times. Hmm. But yeah, so then we get to a point where it's like 40, 40-ish. And then we meet a character named Babs. Says, when do chickens have blue hair? But I guess that kind of me it's a little symbolism into the fact that, um, yeah, she's a bimbo. She sews and just plain crazy, you know. Then we actually experience what it's like for children to see how terrible life is to be a chicken. So there was a one chicken named Edwina who gets the gets the head. But the main per main antagonist is Mrs. Tweedy. Now, she is scary. I think most likely you'll see a lot of British women in these kind of movies as the main intelligent uh, Yeah, but they're, they're the British women are very intel they're they're very intelligent. But very too, they're just too confident, and well, I kind of saw this before when with the live-action film of 100 Wild Dalmatians. When Cruella Deville tries to steal the puppies, and that didn't go well too, that didn't go over too well, and she has the bimbos, she has bimbo psychics, uh, Jasper and Horace. If you don't remember those guys, they'll, they're really. Dr. House and Mr. Weasley. Shocking! Okay, so, now back to the story. <sighs> when... Sh I kind of find this an odd place that when Ginger witnesses Edwina's head chopping off, I was thinking, why can't you just have all the chickens just run out of the coop now? But then I realized, oh, it's a children's movie. But yeah. Then... Ginger has a moment like, oh, we have got to get out of here. And then cueing the irony of a, ch of a rooster flying. And that's where we meet Rocky. Rocky the Rhode Island Rooster. And just a little fun fact, the Rhode Island Red is the state bird of Rhode Island. And it's a chicken, yes, I know. Okay, now back to, anyway, so Rocky comes in to the picture and... And I could just say, I could say there's so much. He's played by Mel Gibson. An American in another culture. Where have I seen this before? Hmm. Pocahontas! Yes. A man from England who goes to America. But funny that they made him an American instead, and he's coming, and he's in England. Okay. So, the other characters in there, they're kind of, they're kind of odd, let's just say. I mean, we got two rats who like to 
and that's all the chickens for their eggs. We also have we have Bunty who is always misdoubting, and we have Fowler who likes to say he was part of the Air Fo the Royal Air Force, and he's the stereotypical British British chicken rooster saying, "Oh, you you Americans are always late in the war." It's like really, but anyway. Let's just, just get to the point of the entire movie. They escape. They live happily after, after. And I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, I just realized I don't have my cards. But. So Chicken Run was, is, was created by the people who got, brought Moss and Gromit. Peter Lord and Nick Park. And... And, that, and as as a child as a child, you could give this an overall four out of five. Why? It's great in terms of showing that one you could be creative by making little clay people. You see, these just this is just a DVD cover. This is all I can really do. So this is owned by DreamWorks. Then obviously says they're from the creators of Wallace and Gromit. It's amazing. They like to. But I'm just surprised that they actually would choose the Rhode Island Rooster for. The the under next next to the pro the protagonist's love interest you could say, but anyway, come back next week when I do another great movie. It has to do with more animals and helps creating your imagination. I'm the child enthusiast. I help you remember your childhood.